Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Beautiful morning out today. A tad bit bug infested. The mosquito is actually really, really bad right now. Um, but I want to quickly grab the camera this morning and do a little bit of an unboxing video for you guys. Haven't done one of these in a while. We got a nice hefty package here and um, I want to show you guys what's inside. So let's get right into it. Uh, this is from Freedom Tackle. A little bit of a restock for this year's bass fishing season. So let's get right into it here. We got our trusty kudas that have not broken yet. And I really needed a new restock of jigs. I went through my jig stuff this year and um, I quite literally had like three or four jigs left. So um, jigs are a necessity. I lose a lot of them. Um, and I mean, I catch a lot of fish on them. So we, we have to restock. Ta-da! <laughs> a lot of a lot more boxes. First up, let's go through some blade baits. I won't be using these until the fall, but I wanted to grab some now since I was already putting putting an order in. Go to fall fishing tactic. Um, a small swim bait works very very well. Um, I catch a lot of them on drop shot as well. Big swim baits work very very well as you guys see us on Simcoe. Um, but a blade bait when they are, um, you know, on points, off points, off ledges. Very fun way to catch them and very effective way to catch them because usually when they're a little bit deeper, you can get right on top of them with the boat and uh, pretty much jig for them and catch them that way. And it's, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. So I restocked on some blade baits for this fall. We got two here in the half ounce perch color. Very pretty. <laughs> we have two in the clown color, I believe. Joker color right there. Half ounce once again. Haven't used this color yet, but looks pretty good. And this is my go-to color here. This and the perch one. The herring color. I absolutely smash them on this color here. And the cool thing about the Freedom Tackle Blade Bait is that you can actually move your line tie and over. There's four different options for your line tie. And depending where you have that snap, um, the bait will have a little bit of a different um, fall and a little bit of a different presentation in the water. So if you have the line tie further back, it sits more like this, head down. If you have the line tie further up, it sits a little bit more um, perpendicular. So just another little customizable option that these baits um, have. But yeah, that is the first much needed restock. I actually lost a lot of them this fall on, on rocks and such. So all of these are in half ounce. It's usually what I use. I usually don't fish deep enough to need anything heavier. We have some frogs coming up next. I don't fish a lot of frogs, um, but like I said, I was kind of going through my gear this year and I was like, you know what, Isabella, you should fish more frogs. So I picked up two new frogs here. Oh, four new frogs here um, for this season. This is the scum frog lunch, la launch, launch, launch frog. Um, this is actually a frog that I have been using over the past two years, I would say. Um, and I really like it. It's on the heavier side. It's five eighths of an ounce, I believe. Let me just double check that. Pretty positive it's five eighths of an ounce. It's a little bit on the heavier side, but the profile isn't that much bigger than a regular sized frog. I'd compare it to like a spro frog in size, um, or sorry, a booyah frog in size. But um, I had a lot of good luck on it. The butt sits down a little bit heavier like this, so I find it easier to walk this frog as opposed to some of the other frogs out on the market. But this scum frog here and the spro popping frog are my two go-to frogs. I picked up two in pitch right here, which is just a black color. Um, good for those overcast days, so you have a little bit of contrast. And two in the leopard color here, which just has a little bit of a lighter belly and a little bit more of a natural color. So we are all ready to frog this summer. And now we're gonna get into, oh, I didn't see these. These are brand new. 
These are brand new for the 2020 season. Uh, last year, Freedom Tackle came out with the Mischief Minnow, which is a top water lure um, made to imitate bait fish. Uh, so if you guys have ever seen bait fish schooling, um, you'll see them kind of like, uh, like jump a little bit and, and scatter. So this is what this bait is here to imitate. So last year they came out with um, two sizes, I believe, or one size of 4.5 inch. And now we have the 5.5 inch, which is a lot bigger of a bait. Look at that herring color right there. A lot bigger of a bait. I'm um, gonna be a lot easier to cast. Let me open this one up. So when you reel it back, you're supposed to reel it at a pretty like slow, steady pace. And the bait itself darts. And this, of course, spins underwater to a lot of commotion on the water. This is really heavy, but um, that's a really good pike size too, actually. Next up, we're going to talk about chatterbaits. So uh, this year, early bass fishing season, um, Aaron and I did very well on chatterbaits. We pretty much caught every single fish on chatterbaits. So um, a couple years ago, Freedom Tackle com uh, collaborated with Z-Man to make this Hydra head free swimming chatterbait. So let me show you guys what we got going here. We have two in a chartreuse white color right there, half ounce. Two in a green pumpkin color right there. And two in just a, a white threadfin shad color. Let me show you guys this chatterbait. You guys probably saw it in the videos, but... So the cool thing about this chatterbait, and which is kind of why I, I used it this spring, is that you can put any hook you want on there. Uh, this spring, I actually just used this EWG, stuck a hook on, because we were fishing such, um, such grassy areas, so shallow with so many snags, I opted for that EWG just so my hook wasn't exposed and I didn't get snagged up. Uh, but you can always just take this hook off take this hook off take the skirt off right there put a different hook on you can put a strength shake on you can put any hook you want on there stick the skirt back on like that thread it back on the hydra hood and you can customize it any way you want so we got some chatterbaits on deck. I had to restock. I lost pretty much all of mine, actually literally all of mine, to pike. So now we have um, six more to restock. So Freedom Tackle makes both structure and flipping jigs. Let me show you guys the difference here. Um, the structure head is just um, made to go over and through cover a little bit easier. It has a flat side on the bottom here to prevent the jig from rolling and getting and getting hung in trees and such. Um, other than that, both of them, here I'm gonna show you the flipping. The flipping is more of like a, a slender head, kind of made to go through, be a little bit more weedless, made to go through grass a little bit easier and such. Um, you guys can see the line tie is different too. This one is parallel to the hook, you guys can see here. And this one is perpendicular to the hook. Again, the flipping is just a little bit more weedless when I'm fishing around grass or primarily grass, I'll pick up a flipping. If I'm um, fishing, you know, docks going through trees and such, I'll pick up a structure here. Uh, both have very nice stout hooks. Weed guards and both have um, rattles that you can take out and both have the weight stamped on the head, which is super key for me. I love being organized. I need everything to be organized. And this way I can be a little bit less organized and um, still know kind of what I'm picking up and what I'm looking for. So these are the two different types of jigs that I primarily use. These are both in black and blue. And um, yeah, let me show you guys the jigs. So we have Magic J here in three eighths of an ounce in structure. This is a really, really cool color. Look at that. There's green pumpkin, there's purple, and there's some chartreuse. That is one sweet color right there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool little color, a lot of different things going on. Some green pumpkin, some blues, some um, 
some chartreuse colors here. Uh, I do fairly fairly well on this color on this color actually. Don't really know what it's supposed to imitate. Probably just like bluegill and baitfish, um, but that is one sweet color here. So these are all in flipping, right there in half ounce and you guys will see that I'm mostly a three ounce a three eighths of an ounce kind of gal when it comes to jigs um, I like a little bit of slower fall I feel like I get a little bit more strikes um, when it's falling and when I'm picking it up and um, just personal preference we got some Missouri craw both three eighths and half ounce I'll show you guys the half ounce look at that color Right there. <laughs> sick color. Like, absolutely just sick color. I'm a, last year, I became a really big fan of having some chartreuse in my jig. Um, before, I usually just throw, you know, um, green pumpkins, oranges, and blacks. Just straight black jig. Uh, but last year, I did really, really good with jigs with some chartreuse in them. So, look at that. Like, isn't that just absolutely... Beautiful jig. I like it. I think this might be the ticket for me this year, right there. If I if I base off my success of what happened last year, this might be this might be what goes on this year. But um, a couple other colors in here. Some more black and blue. Black and blue. More black and blue. As you guys can see, we like black and blue. <laughs> Never used to be a huge fan of black and blue until recent years. Nice purple color there, the hammer color. And yeah, more, uh, more of that Missouri Craw in here, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. But yeah, that is it for my unboxing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you guys kind of get an idea of what I'll be using this year or what I least used last year that um, um, I went through. And if you guys have any questions, let me know down below. I'm gonna leave links to where you guys can find all of this down below in the description, both in the US and in Canada. And I will see you guys in the next one.